For the thousands coming to view the launch, the troubles began early this morning. The roads leading to the Space Center were jammed hours before the scheduled liftoff. A trip that normally takes 15 minutes took almost three hours. It was the second time around, but there was no feeling of anticlimax around the Cape this morning. The shuttle had become a symbol. Everyone waiting for liftoff had a personal interest in seeing it go up. Well, I'd like to be an astronaut, but, you know, it takes a lot of courage, and I'd be scared to go up there right now. Anybody can see it on TV, but I got the chance to be here live, so I really see it live. And I've seen over, I've seen more launches than anybody else here, and everyone is just as exciting, but this means more to me than any other, I think. It was a carnival, a show that will have one run only, but it was more than that. These people were here because they believe in the shuttle, and they wanted to show it. So a few seconds away from switching to the redundant sense sequencer, T minus 27 seconds. We have gone for a redundant set sequencer start, T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15, 14, 13, T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Fido says it couldn't be any better. I found out. Two hundred eighty knots. The thing looks real good.
Do you want us to take it up the hangar, Joe? We're gonna dust it off first. This is the world's greatest all electric flying machine, I'll tell you that. It was super. This is Mission Control Houston, the unofficial touchdown time. Two days, six hours, 20 minutes, 52 seconds. And as Columbia's main gear touched the lake bed, the flight director's instructions were prepare for exhilaration.